<sighs> yeah. Today is not a good day. Nor is it a new day. Now we gotta face off with this shit now. Look at that. I haven't seen anything like that since. Why does it look so familiar? As more of my memory comes back to me, I kind of remember a place that I once visited. It, it was during the whole space time that I spent. But there was this place where... I don't know, is that safe to say in this world? It was a place where you couldn't talk or mention about the ground. But this place, or, well, these objects... They're very much like that place. It sucks that I don't even remember anyone I met there anyway. <sighs> anyway, I'm hoping to go find Cora so we can talk more about this. Cure. <sighs> I don't know what's going on with me. Am I really losing my mind, or do I think I'm someone that I'm not? Okay. Let's just go to the train yard. So, I don't really know where Cora lives. She kind of just pointed off into a direction and said, Yeah, I live over there, so... Maybe by going back to the train yard, I can... Find that place? Jesus, it really goes down there, huh? The games feel so long ago, but it was like, what, two, three days ago? I really gotta figure out my talk with uh, Ignizia. Or else, you know, the whole city's doomed. And I kind of like this place a little bit, but I don't really have another home to go to. Let's just get to the train yard, see if I can find Cora, and that'll be that. It's a lot closer than I thought. Look at that. There she is. Hey, how's it going? Hi. Oh, you brought a dog with you. Uh, not actually mine. I, I assume it's a stray, but uh, anyway, I came looking for you. I, I I assume you know why. Right, the memory thing. Yeah. You know about me, and I don't really know too much about you, but if I'm going to talk with, uh, you know, that fire goddess from that volcano, then I kind of need to know whatever I need to know about gods. Whatever I used to know, I guess. Yeah. So, you mentioned you have a place nearby, and are we going to talk here, are we going to talk there, or...? You coming? Yeah, sure. Oh. Horses. Are you, uh, this is the, this is you a fan of horses or something? Oh. Down spot. here? Where is my spot? I never was that spot. knotted over there? I saw some this glass. No, no oh. down here. Oh. Mm -hmm. I fell. Fine. I'm awake. Oh. All right. Okay. So. A bunch of, what, just a bunch of uh, cameras over there? Yeah, chess. Yeah, I guess it's just a chest. 
anyway. Uh, where are we talking? We have like a table set up, set up somewhere. Three. Okay. Uh, facing you or? No, you. Okay. okay. What do you want me to set? Yeah. Here. Yeah. Okay. And I'll be over here. I can't even so see you from here. How are we? How are we supposed to talk? You don't have to look at people to talk to people. I mean, it shows you're listening, but I don't care. Okay. So where do you want to start? With whatever I used to know about gods, I guess. What do you know? I know there are gods. There are gods. Like, there, the gods exist. Yeah. Right. We we just had an encounter with one. Yeah. How many did I know? Mm, two, at the very least. Right. Not Agnesia. Surely they would have said something, right? Yeah. I don't think you ever met that one. There's at least two you knew personally. Question. Say that part again. I, I honestly can't hear you when I'm not looking at you, Cora. You can hear just fine. Repeat what you said. You knew at least two. Okay. How well? What were their names? What did I have in common with them or something? You well, you mentioned that I I had sex with one, so was it one of those two? Well there's death and then there's Alphonse. Death and Alphonse. Yeah. You're not going to tell me I had sex with death itself, right? That'd be really funny, but no. So Alphonse? Yeah, the one in purple. That's the one thing that keeps coming back to me. It's just they like purple. I guess you kind of triggered that for me, so... I don't know if I should be thanking you or upset with you, but... That happened. Whichever one works. All I can remember is that... She liked purple. Yeah. And she had pretty wavy hair. Do you know that? I don't know her person. No. So what do you know about Alphonse? You guys had a common goal and that made you get along. Do, you, do I keep asking the questions here? Like, I keep digging deeper? You, you say common ground or common enemy, and do I ask what that was? I mean, I guess. So, what did we have in common? What made us get close, I guess? Well, you hated Meredith. And Alphonse hated Meredith. So Alphonse suck you, s sought you out to hate Meredith together. And it started as a partnership, and then a friendship, and then a love. Meredith Ballard. Yeah. That one. I only remember her last name after you talked about Nate Atkins. I remember Lachlan just fine, but Lachlan is the brother of Meredith, right? Yeah, he betrayed you. How did he betray? I mean, he did blow me up out of a window. I remember that. Back at the train. He, your helper. Who? I mean, 
from what I remember, not not much. Was he my helper? How much of a helper was he? I mean, you hired him. I don't know how useful he was because he kind of left. I just don't know how it went so bad. I, I, I told you, I, I'm looking at like a, like a, like a film role, you know, like for films. And, and every like fourth or fifth little spot, it seems to be like a tear in it. And it just skips to like the next chapter. Uh, kind of, kind of like what happens if you get your, your, your fingers all greasy on like a, on like a DVD, right. And you, you put it into like the DVD player and the, DVD just starts to skip at like certain chapters or like it just doesn't play that chapter at all. That that's what I'm thinking in my head. And I'm I've missing never really these. Met a DVD. Yeah. 1950s. I get it. Anyway, yeah, so it, it feels like it really feels live there. <laughs> what? I just don't have really lived there. Like your life Yeah, I don't expect you to, but you just know so much about me when I don't even know myself. I mean, I don't know what your hands feel like. I can guess. Probably rough, you know, from killing people. Are you the only one that knows that? Yeah, probably. I had a dream last night about people I killed. It's true, isn't it? I killed hundreds, if not maybe even thousands. Most likely true. <sighs> so I was right. Not much you can do about it. No, but it hurts all the same. That you hurt people? Yes, Cora. That. Hmm. Shouldn't have been like that way. Why did it end up like that? Why did I have to kill people? And why don't I fucking remember any of it? You were surviving, weren't you? Is that what I call it? It's what I would call it. The most around that time that I can remember is that the apocalypse happened. You know, zombies like this world, but there was a nuclear fallout. You know, like... Uh, I, I don't know if you guys know the term, but like poison, you know, uh, radiation, explosions. Did you hear maybe. that pufferfish? What pufferfish? Hero ate a pufferfish and started poison. Uh, sort of. There's more cause from like these, uh, like barrels full of like liquid that got into places where it shouldn't be. All I remember is around then, I was just on my own. I didn't have friends. I was living on my own. You I think I was Charles. alone for too long. What? You had Charles. I've heard that name before. Who was he? Oh, well, you found him when he was just a banded little kid. I guess he looked up to you.
How? I uh-huh. just found him? Yeah, we found him. He was all by himself. His parents were gone. And you took him in. That's cute. What happened to Charles, Cora? Well, he died. Was I there with him? I believe you were. I believe he died in your arms. You tried to save him. I don't even remember what he looks like. Yet why does it hurt me so much? He looked like a hero. It was really cool. Really sad though for Tommy. For Tommy. Was he connected to Tommy? They wanted to run away together. Tommy shot me. It's true, isn't it? What's true? Tommy tried to kill me. He hurt me. He shot me or something. Well, yeah. So it's true. That he tried to hurt you? Yeah. I mean, wouldn't you do it if you lost someone you love? Charles didn't die because of me, did he? I'm not sure. He believed in you. He followed you. No, it doesn't sound right. He would have left after everything. Charles was... Charles was just a kid. can't even picture his face. Just picture Hero, as hard as it might be. Something about Hero made me think of something familiar. It didn't help that he was standing right next to, to Leon, but... I mean, they both worked for you. Leon reminded you of Lachlan. And Lachlan worked for you, for betraying you in the end, for his sister. At least Charles didn't betray you. Charles didn't betray me? He fought with you till the end. Who killed Charles, if it wasn't me? That's a bit blurry for me. How is that blurry? You weren't even there, were you? Is that how you know so much? I don't think I was there. Oh, now I understand. Um, it was a rabbit. A rabbit? Yeah. It's like Tashiki and the fish walked on two legs and could talk. 
His name was Robbie, and he killed Charles. That's why you followed the party. Robbie was a part of that group that Meredith led? Sort of. How do you mean sort of? They fought... Were they well, fighting me? I imagine the group that Meredith led was the zombie group, and Robbie's not part of the zombie group. But they did fight you. And then Robbie killed Charles, and then you chased Robbie. I believe that's why Alphonse got your attention. Alphonse. Your partner. What did Alphonse do? Alphonse did something after that. After finding you? After the fight, whatever that was. How, how did I get connected with Alphonse again? How did I see him? He must have picked you up. They gave you some of their magic for a bit. As a failsafe. This is all just a lot to take in. It's a lot to think about, yeah. Does your head still hurt? It's been better. That's good. What about... What about after? When? Oh, my head. That doesn't sound better. I'm trying my best here. You would visit <sighs> Alphonse's cottage all the time. Spend all your time there. That's why you like cottages, I believe. It was in a swamp. There were fireflies. Or dragonflies, I can't remember. I spent a year there. You did? I, and then what happened? You left. Why'd I leave? You were so focused on Meredith's group. Alphonse didn't want you to leave, but there's no stopping you, is there? I didn't want to leave. But Something kept pulling. He kept pulling at me. Nate. You said his name the other day. Napkin? Nat Nate Atkins. All right. Around the time that I saw him last, he actually changed his last name to Ballard. He, he was living with them. His napkin doesn't work anymore. When you said that name, I was going through my stuff that I won through uh, the the games in Devil's Town. And I realized I had something on my person back when I first woke up on the train tracks. It was this. What was it? Beside you. Ah, the cure. What do you know about it? Why Nate made it? Why his initials are on it? He made that, didn't he? You were living in a zombie apocalypse. What do you think the cure is for? I 
And he made it? He was very weird. Cora, what I'm going to tell you might sound really weird, but bear with me. I don't have a bear on me, but okay. That last time I was at the train yard, I was with a group of my own. So I'm trying to piece everything together. Before it was revealed that Lachlan was Meredith's sibling, Lachlan had brought Meredith and her friends to that train yard for, for a deal because there was a moving train. But when I saw Lachlan, I, I knew he was compromised. I shot and killed him. Does that match up? It does. Fuck's sake. And then the train pulled in. Everyone was fighting. I got on the train to chase Nate. He had that. That bottle. But the, the way I remember it, I, I only knocked him out. I never actually got the bottle. There was someone who was way taller than me, and there was a, a, a lizard. They were, they were fighting me on that train, and the bigger one kicked me off the back of the caboose part of the train. But I never got the bottle. And I kept looking for it in that train yard. Hell, the things I was thinking of when I woke up at that train yard, just over there, was the exact same things I was thinking about then. Do you think I'm replaying an event? Reliving it? I don't think you're in the right re event. So that's not how it ended, but I guess that's how it ended here. I didn't get the cure. No. But I woke up on these tracks with it. You've also woken up in the wrong place. What does it mean? What's the connection? It doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't know why you're here, because you're not meant to be. Maybe it's another chance, but at the same time, you are way far back in your years. There is no Charles, there is no Meredith, no Lachlan, no Nate. Just you. No Mariana. Just that damn bottle. No Lachlan's. Just what truly had your attention. Where are they now? Alphonse. Alpha? Probably back in your actual reality, wearing your jacket. The one I have on me right now. I believe so. I don't know gods that well. They're harder to read. When I talk to Ignizia tomorrow, what else can you help me with? Maybe she knows Alphonse. I'll keep that in mind. Maybe she also knows death. I mean, fire, brimstone is probably closely related to death, but so are a lot of things. Do you know anything about death? I think death is beautiful, but not the person. I don't really know what the person looks like. I remember them towering over me the first time I ever saw them. 
it feels like a hundred years ago, but in reality, it's a hundred years from now. More or less. Is there anything else you can tell me? I can't think of anything unless you want to delve deeper, but you said just gods. That's what's important right now. I need time to mend my mind so I can hear more of that. I just keep getting migraines. I need to know what I need to know about Ignisia and my connection with gods. Especially knowing that I had a relationship with one. And then I just walked away. You really wanted this bottle. I guess it was enough to throw... Not then. I don't know a whole lot, but I remember it wasn't the cure then. It was something else. Just what, what was it? Probably just me <sighs> Atkins in general. I... Is there anything else you can offer me? Advice? Tips? Maybe just a little something that could jog my memory? Anything? Don't fuck this god. I so what the hell am I supposed to do? Not fuck the god? Just talk, maybe? What can I do to stop this goddess from destroying Tal's Devil's Town and everyone in it? What can I say? What can I do? Just some guy. The broken memory, for one. Well, to be fair, the two, the I just don't think I'm a friendly one. person. The town is the one that wants to... The town is her focus, really. She's the one who wants the town gone, but they were like, please, let us... Give us a chance to show we're good people. It's not on to you to make them all good people. You can't really make all... a whole group of people good people. Are they good people? You seem to have a good read on people. Hmm. Is Devil's Town worth saving? I don't know if that's my choice. Or for her folks, and you can only persuade her. You don't know if that's going to work for you yet. Maybe we should end this here. Talk another time. I... Sure. Thank you. Of course. What's that over there? It's nothing. Just the woods. No, there's weird orangey bushes. Brown? Might be some dead bushes. How long have you been over here? How do you know the gods? You should get home, buddy. Oh, 
I'm a little curious, I will admit. Especially about your connection. connection. I just think they're neat. Don't you? I mean, you fucked one. Hey. What's really over there? Nothing. Probably just some poor old fallen up. Can I see it? I can't stop you. No, I won't. I'm sorry for prying. All right, you want to get home now? Yeah, I'll, I, I can get back. You know the way? Yeah, it's not that far. Um, one second. Mm -hmm. There's something. Never mind, got it. Waypoint thing, anyway. Okay. I, uh, is this going to be like a weekly thing, maybe? I come see you and we talk? If you want to be. Well, it's just kind of like a backwards therapy, but I mean, I guess I don't mind it if you don't. Mm hmm Thank you. I, I know there's still more that you're not telling me, but... For the right now, I mean, thank you. You're welcome. All right. I'll get going. I, uh, see you around for, uh, you know, whatever happens with the town and, and the goddess. I'll definitely be there. Okay. I'm probably going to be talking with them soon on my own. So, wish me luck. Um, good luck. You think I'm going to need it? Maybe. Wishes okay. was our Alphonse's thing, really. Noted. Is is there anything else? Any last remark? Anything to send me on my way? Do you want to look at the axolotl? Sure. That over there. No, that's the pufferfish. Oh. How cute. Just goes uh, in circles. What's its name? It doesn't have one. Or whatever it chooses to have, I guess. And now it just has a bunch of bubbles. Maybe that's its name. Bubbles. Maybe. Okay. I'm I'm gonna get going. You know the way? Yeah. This way. Anything else? There's a big ravine that way. If you take this way, you'll avoid it. Okay. 
any uh, final words kind of thing? It's just been so normal. I kind of expected that. Try not to die. Or burn. But yeah. I'll see you. See you. Yeah. See ya. And thanks again. I, I mean it, but appreciate it. No problem. All right. Now I just go to the volcano. Sometime tomorrow, the next day. I don't want to keep pushing it off, but I know we're running out of time. All that talk about Alphonse has got me thinking. No idea what to think. All I know is that things are slowly starting to make sense. I'm a little scared about it. Alphonse wears my jacket in their time. I shouldn't be wearing this jacket either. I should burn it. Get some new clothes. Yeah. Maybe. I'll figure it out in the morning. Gotta get some sleep and get rid of this migraine. 